Hey loves! Today I'm in the mood to get ready, so we're gonna get ready using all high-end makeup products. So grab a snack, get cozy, or grab all of your stuff, and let's do some makeup together. Let's start off with some under eye patches because I feel like I need a little depuffing moment. So these are one of my favorites from Rare Beauty, the hydrating under eye patches, and they actually stay put while you're getting ready. Even just in the morning, if I feel extra tired, I will put these on and leave them on for 30 plus minutes and it feels so good. Honestly, the main moment of today's look is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I wanna do another look with this. I did my makeup yesterday with it and I love the way it turned out. I felt so pretty. So we're gonna recreate that today. Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer, of course. So first we're gonna go in with the color Naked and Buck. I love these two colors. I wish there was actually more matte shades in the palette, maybe like at least one or two other ones. I've been really enjoying this palette. I like forgot how good it is, but it is, you know, a neutral palette at the end of the day. I'm sure you probably have something like this in your collection. And this came out so long ago, so you can imagine the dupes that there are for this palette. But I am happy I got my hands on it. Honestly, the main reason I wanted to was because I just wanted to collect it again because I decluttered it, but somebody commented on one of my videos that I mentioned this palette and they have a point. They said a lot of people are really just excited or wanting the palette because of the nostalgia that comes with it, but really the palette is nothing special. And I mean, although I do like the palette, I have to agree with the comment. And it goes to show how all of us are really chasing that nostalgia sometimes. First of all, raise your hand if you are a super nostalgic person. I don't know what the right term for that is. I talked about this before on my vlog channel, but I am an extremely nostalgic person. But anyways, what's crazy though is that when this palette came out, when you really think about it, it wasn't that long ago. Like it was, but it wasn't. It just... It's crazy how much has changed within that time period from, I don't remember exactly when this came out. I wanna say what, like maybe 2010. But from then to now, think about all of the changes that we've had in the beauty industry. Now let's get into the blue and black shade, Gunmetal and Creep. These colors are so pretty. They have like a kind of glittery, touch to them so it just makes your lids look really sparkly even though the colors are dark i think with that sparkle in there it just makes them a little bit more approachable easier to blend so even though i do wish there was a couple more matte shades in here i will say though i think the shimmers and like just the different kinds of glittery eyeshadows there are in this palette they are really nice. I really wish I could play music while I got ready. So comment down below, by the way, your favorite kind of music when you're doing your makeup. For me, just in general, by the way, I think I'm gonna take now some of this blue color and very lightly, I'm gonna kind of dust it on my lids just to bring out some of that shade. I love it mixed with the black but i love jazz music and i love playing it while i get ready anything throughout the day in the morning i love to play it in the kitchen and it's crazy because when i was in college we actually like one of our one of our electives we had to take music and i took jazz but yeah sometimes when i'm filming i wish i could be playing that in the background i don't know if you can have shows in the background while you're getting ready like on youtube because of like the copyright stuff i'll have to look into that because you guys already know my obsession with gossip girl so I would ideally also love to be playing Gossip Girl in the background while we get ready, like just have it playing really, really lightly. But um, I am gonna be doing a Gossip Girl kind of series. I wanna start that hopefully this fall, but I'm basically gonna do a deep dive into Gossip Girl while I get ready. I think I wanna recreate a look like for each season and then we'll just deep dive into the show. Love to rewatch Gossip Girl all throughout the year, but I feel like in the fall time, something about it is just super cozy. So stay tuned. I'm gonna have notes and we're gonna just do a full on deep dive. So get ready. Now that this is super smoky, we're gonna lighten it up a little bit and I'm gonna take this color right here, Toasted. I love this shade. It's like a neutral kind of natural bronze. And this one has a very light sheen, so. The finish is just a little bit more natural. Some of the colors in here have a bit more of a sparkle to them, but that's why I do like these tones. But this is pretty, you could always add, I'm gonna show you this one color in here. It is such a pretty like topper. When I did this look, I kind of mixed a bunch of shades yesterday, but this color right here, Sidecar, it's a gorgeous glittery sparkly shade. I love this topped over other eyeshadows. It is absolute perfection. Let me just show you. If you tap it, if 
very lightly you're gonna get a bit of that light glittery sparkle in there for eyeliner i'm gonna use another og speaking of og favorites inglot gel liner you can also buy this inglot dura line which makes the eyeliner waterproof and if your liner is ever dry you can always add some eye drops too just to bring it back to life and make it creamy again I just take a little makeup wipe and just right underneath i kind of clean it up to sharpen up that wing now i'm gonna curl my lashes i just actually heated up my lash curler with my blow dryer i know that's like an old trick but it really works i did it the other day and i used a waterproof mascara and my lashes were in place all day but of course be cautious of the heat because this thing gets hot the blow dryer makes this thing super hot so let it cool off for a few seconds before you curl your lashes but it really does help for mascara i'm gonna use the huda beauty legit lashes i've been really loving this one and this is actually just the mini size but i feel like it's a really good size for a mini and it's dual ended i love how voluminous and dark this makes the lashes it's crazy really you could just repurchase the minis because this is like a really good size now for primer i'm going to use the cloud glow from milk makeup so if you don't like a lot of products before makeup for your skin prep you're gonna really like this it's literally a foam which is interesting but that's what I like about it because it's so lightweight. It has a very light coconut scent. And once it absorbs, it only takes like a few seconds. It gives you this very natural glow. For foundation, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Foundation. I just got hopefully a better shade. The color 260 that I was using, it's just a little bit too light for my tan. This is 290. Did I say that already? I don't know, but why does it look kind of light? No, it's a good match. Okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah, that was, that was good. I pretty much just kind of color match myself whenever I'm at the store. And I kind of just go now. I used to use foundations that are way too yellow and warm. But I think once you find your undertone, it just makes it a little bit easier. So now I try to find foundations that have a more neutral undertone so they don't pull too orange or too yellow. And I know I'm not a cool undertone because I've tried some cool undertone foundations and they don't work. They just pull way too gray or pink. So neutral is it. I think this foundation is really beautiful and it has a true natural luminosity to it that doesn't feel like it's melting off your face. Let's do blush. I have been loving the Rode Pocket Blushes. This one is in Freckle. I also love Piggy. The packaging I think is really cute. Like, I really do. I wish it was the same color as the blush. I think I mentioned that before. That's the only thing. I wonder why this is color. I don't know. But I still think it's cute. I like the little stick. These actually do fit in your pocket. And I like how they click. Like that. It's so satisfying. But anyways, freckle is a gorgeous color. Let me just show you. It's the most perfect neutral. I love how creamy these are. You can apply them on your lips too. And they look so good. And I'm going to use a powder blush over top of this. It's from Fenty, and it matches this color perfectly. I'm going to use a different color of my Metamorphosis bronzer stick. I know technically this is not high-end, but I've just been loving this bronzer so much. This one is an MB15. I typically use MB14, but I want to try this color. Oh, I think actually I can get away with this color. It's a little warm, but I think it works. For concealer, House Labs Triclone. This one is still one of my favorites. I tried out a new concealer brush from the drugstore. This one is the Real Techniques Brightening Concealer. It has potential, but it's not perfect. I love how it's flat and it kind of tapers up, but it's a little too flimsy. I wish it had a bit more density to it, but I just wanted to mention it because I have been using it. And I like it, but like I said, I think it could use some improvements. It's not my favorite concealer brush of all time but it definitely works you kind of just have to keep going over your concealer a couple more times because it's not super dense not bad not amazing but i'll still use it i would say seven and a half out of ten maybe even closer to an eight out of ten i have this other new concealer brush that i think i want to try today it's from bk beauty it's the n14 it's a little bit bigger but let's try it i love concealer brushes if you have not tried a concealer brush and you're still using a sponge, I recommend making the switch. 
it just looks so much more flawless in my opinion powder combo today is going to be from hourglass i really love the translucent veil powder from hourglass this just gives the most beautiful finish I also love applying my powder under my eyes now with a powder puff. It looks so much softer. So I recently tried out the Vanish Airbrush Press Powder from Hourglass. And I think it's a nice powder. It gives your skin a satin finish, so it's not fully matte. So it's still going to leave a little bit of that kind of natural inner glow in your skin. If you're using a glowy foundation or something, it's going to set it down. But it's still going to look really healthy. But I still think I like the loose powder more. Like it is nice. I mean, look at how good that just set my forehead. But if I ran out of this, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I still think I like my Charlotte Tilbury press powder more too because it just takes your makeup to the next level and makes it look so blurred with that soft matte finish. I really like it. I'm going to add some blush. I have been so in love with this blush color from Fenty in Bacon Cakes. It goes perfectly with the shade Freckle from road i think if i could only use one kind of blush color for the rest of my life it would be this look at that perfect combo i love it i love it because it complements that other blush and it just kind of makes it pop a little bit more when you layer it i'm just gonna take some powdered bronzer this one is from fenty in private island for the eyes i'm gonna go back in with that creamy eye coal from huda Then with the color Gunmetal and a little bit of Creep, I'm going to just smudge this out. We have to brighten up the inner corners, so I'm going to take the color Virgin first. This doesn't really have sparkle to it, it's just more of a brighter sheen, but I like it. This is a good lid color too. I'm also going to put this on my brow bone. This makes the arch of your brow pop. I'm going to go in now with the Fenty Beauty Lip Liner. This one is an extra thigh. I've been loving these. They're super creamy, but they actually last really well. I also do like the color right before that, which is Rubber Bands 05. This is another good color. It's a little bit of a lighter version to the one that I have on right now, but it's amazing. I'm actually going to use this one too to kind of like feather in the inner part of the lip liner another fenty gem gloss bomb sticks i really thought these were going to be super melty and just not good like even the packaging i thought that it was just going to get really messy because a lot of products like this are good but they're just a little bit too creamy but this one is actually perfect so i really like the color two lip kiss and blazed donut blazed donut is a very true pink this one i thought it was going to be more peachy but you actually when you apply it it's more neutral than anything look like it's not too peach it gives beautiful pigment it's not sticky like whatsoever it just is straight up creamy pigmented and glossy like come on that's the perfect lip combo i cannot get over it it also smells just like their original gloss bombs so it really brings me back to my college days so i really like this i like both of these i think the lip products are definitely my favorite from Fenty. These right here. So good. And then to set my makeup, I don't know why more people don't talk about this. This is one of the most underrated products from LIS, but their natural finish setting spray has the most beautiful fine mist. And I think this is just one of those good setting sprays where you could use it before makeup, after makeup. It just melts your makeup in, but doesn't alter the finish of your products. Look at the mist on it. Fabulous. Mm, I love it. It's refreshing, but not overly dewy. There's no fragrance to it. It's just all around a really good spray. If you have maybe combo skin or you just want like a good spray to melt your layers of makeup in between, but also set everything down when you're all done. I feel like I need to go somewhere because the glam is just too good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed these products, this whole get ready with me. And I'm also curious, do you guys prefer high-end and drugstore videos separate? Do you like the products mixed? Do you not really care? Let me know. I'm just curious. And if you made it to the end of the video, you got to comment an emoji. And I was actually looking through my phone, trying to pick through the emojis that I don't really use that much. And I never use the panda emoji. So comment a panda emoji if you made it to the end. It's so cute. And make sure you subscribe before you leave for new videos every week. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.